and welcome to ExcelMasterSeries.com. Today we're going to create an interactive Excel chart graphing the Poisson distribution's probability density function. If we take a look at that graph, we can see the Poisson distribution is a discrete distribution. It's not continuous. It moves in discrete intervals. And there's one parameter, the, the mean number of events that occur over a certain period of time. Let's vary that mean and watch the interactivity reflected in the chart. So varying the mean from 5 to 7 moves the chart a little bit to the right. From 7 to 9 it moves it a little bit more to the right from 9 to 15 moves it even further to the right. Let's put our original 5 back in there and that's what we're going to create. So now we have to create the data for the x and y axes on the chart. Let's start with the x axis. First cell is 0, second cell equals the previous cell plus 1 and we're going to drag this formula down. We're going to center it first and to drag it down just select the cell with the cursor and put the cursor in the corner until you see that X and then drag the whole cell down as far as you need to. We're going to drag it down until we have 0 to 25. There it is. There's the x-axis data. Let's take a look at the y-axis. The formula for the, for the Poisson distribution probability density function in cell C37 is right here. Take a look at the red false that indicates it's a probability density function. Now let's see the inputs. The input is the mean and the x-axis and that's what it should be. Let's delete those arrows, and we're going to drag that formula down. First, remove the blue color so we don't drag the color down. Put the cursor in the cell, highlight the corner, drag it down to matching the x-axis data. There we have our x and y-axis data. Now we're going to make our chart. It's pretty straightforward. This is Excel 2003, and to do that, just put the cursor anywhere you'd like. Hit Insert Chart. This is an area chart. Select the first variation of the area chart, next, and the data is in columns. And we're going to add our Y series of data. So hit Add. And we're going to label that. That would be the probability of X given the mean. And remember, the Poisson distribution calculates the probability of a certain number of events occurring if the frequency of occurrence is predicted by the Poisson distribution. There's one parameter, the mean number of events occurring over a certain period of time. So let's put in the values. Delete what's currently in there for the values for the y-axis. Hit that square and go select everything in that column. The probability density function of the Poisson distribution. Okay, do the same thing for the x-axis. Hit that little square and then there you go. And then select everything in the x-axis. Hit the square in the dialog box and the data is in the graph. Hit next. We're going to put the title of the chart in there and that would be the Poisson distribution probability density function. And as soon as we type it in there, you'll see that that title will immediately appear on the chart. And there it is, right there. Category X axis, X. Hit next, hit finish. There's our chart right there. And let's drag the chart up and drop it on top of the original chart. And vary the mean to see if our interactivity is reflected in the chart to see if we have made the chart correctly. So varying the mean from 5 to 9, there it is. From 9 to 15, it looks like we've made the chart correctly. And back to 5. If you would like to master MBA level statistics in Excel, check out our Excel Statistical Master series of emanuals at www.excelmasterseries.com slash emanual.php. Thank you very much and goodbye.